Hello everyone, this is Tommy from Foyer Neo, and in this video we are going to go over how to create the perfect render. You can access the render while you're in 2D or 3D mode. It's going to be right up here in the top right hand corner. We're just going to click on Take Render. You can use your mouse to zoom in or you can even just double click on your wall to zoom in. The very first thing that I always like to do is mess with my field of view. The default is always going to be 70, but I like to bring the field of view down to 45. And the reason for that is just to keep everything proportioned and to keep everything the correct size. Versus if I was to bring my field of view up to 90, you can see more of my space, but you see how my bench is stretched out and my room just seems longer. And my room isn't that long. So to keep it as, um, the most realistic as possible. I like to bring the field of view down to 45 or I like to start at 45. Now the issue with this is now that I cannot see as much as my room as I would like. So I am just going to use my mouse and I'm going to zoom out. When I'm zoom out, I'm you're either going to be hit by a wall or a door or a window. In this case, I'm hit by a door. A mistake that most people make is that they use the hide feature right up here in the top left hand corner. And you can hide the door or hide your wall or window. But what you're doing is telling the software is that you do not want that there. And what that's doing is that that's opening it up to the environment. And when you open it up to the environment, your sun is going to be shining in. So your room becomes overexposed. And that's not what we want. So I recommend only using the high feature on objects that are already in your space. So furniture, um, anything that's in the interior of your space. So if I wanna hide out this plant, I can hide it out. And the nice thing about the hide feature is that it does not delete anything, it just simply hides it out for you. So I can unhide it all, and now I'll have my door and this wall back and also that planter back that I deleted. We still have the issue of not being able to get into the space due to this door being here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use Clip View. And what Clip View does is that it slices back into your space for you without eliminating anything. So I'm going to Clip View and now I'm back into my space. I still cannot see as much as my space as I would like so I'm going to zoom out a little bit more. I'm still hit by this wall in the door. I'm just going to Clip View right through that. Now you can Clip View too much and slice too much but that's okay, just turn it down. Clip view, there we go. And I think this is a good a good angle. Everything stayed the correct size that it, uh, it should be in the same proportions that it should be. And I can see most of my space. So I still have my field of view down to 45. I only, I'm only gonna use the high feature on objects that are inside of my space, never on windows, wind, um, windows doors, and walls. And in order to get through to my space, if I was blocked by a window, door, or a wall, I use Clip View. And now what I want to do is save this view. So it's going to save all these settings that I have made here. We're going to click on Save View, and we're just going to save it as 3. So if I want to come back to these settings, I can. And in order to do that, I'll find that under Views. So these are the four views that I have saved, and if I click them, it's just going to give me different angles of my space. Okay. After I have done all of that, the next thing will be my camera height. A good rule of thumb with the camera height is try to keep it at eye level. So anything between three and six feet is a good eye level for a standard room or a standard ceiling heights. So standard ceiling heights, anything between eight and nine feet. Um, I think these ceilings in this space is a little shorter. So with this space, about 5.7 feet gets me to the ceiling before I'm outside. And even this is too high because now when I walk into my space or when I look at it from this view, my focal point becomes my ceiling. And that's not what I want. I want my focal point to be this mirror here. So I say I'm going to bring it on down. I'm just using my mouse and I am right clicking and holding that down and moving it around for the camera height. You also can use the dial up here if you would like. I'm gonna find a good angle for this space. Remember anything between three and six feet is a good eye level. 
let's do about 3.8 feet for this space. Now that I have that, I still, I want to save it. So I'm just going to save view again, and it's going to override what I said before under view three. So we have gone over hide, we have gone over the camera hide, the field of view, the clip view, the save view, and then also the views. The next thing will be the lighting. So with lighting, we'll have day, evening, and night. Each one has its own presets, and also each one has its own environment. I usually like to stick to day, natural daylight, just because I think it looks the most natural. Under presets, we'll have our interior light in, and this is to make your space either lighter or darker, depending on what you're looking for. Again, with this, I usually stick to low interior lighting, but if I had a space with no windows or with no doors, I'll turn it up to medium or high, depending on exactly what I need. Here are the different environments. We can flip the room around just so we can see outside, see through this door here. I'm going to come to light him. Here are the different environments for our day. With this, I'm just going to do city afternoon. And you see it changed my view from outside. I can rotate it and choose a different angle if I would like. Okay. We'll have product lighting under environment. And what product lighting is, is to control all the light features that you have brought into your space. So that would be your lamps, your ceiling, your ceiling lights, chandeliers. It controls them if you want them off or on. Now you can't pick and choose. So they're either all going to be off or they're either all going to be on. And then you can control if you want the sun on or off. This is the sun right here in the lower right hand corner. You can toggle that off and on. You also can click on the sun. and make a hit in different spaces, or in different spots in your space. And that is how you work with the lighting. We're gonna go back up here to views, and we're just gonna click on this view that we saved with all of our settings that come bring us back here. If I think I like this view and I just wanna see how it would look, I'm gonna do get preview. And what get preview is gonna do is gonna load all of my textures, it's gonna load this view, and it's also going to show the lighting of the room. Um, while this is loading, this should only take a few minutes, you are able to still work on your project, add things to your room, take things away. You can save different views, different angles if you would like, and it will still load here. It will still load that view that you wanted it to load. Again, it only usually takes a couple of minutes, so we're just going to wait till that loads up. I can click back out of here, back out of my rendering phase. And now if I want, I can delete some things, or I can change my wall colors, my floor. And then I can come back in, in here and do take render, click on my views, and now I'm back in this view. All right, so our preview is almost done. And with the preview, it is pretty much what your render is gonna look like. There will be slight variations, but for the most part, this is what your render is going to turn out. Now, if you like it, if you like the lighting, if you like the angle and how everything is, you can come here and you can click on take render. And we'll be in the rendering settings. With this, we'll have resolution, you'll have HD, 2K and 4K. HD is one rendering credit. 2K and 4K are both three rendering credits. I always just stick to 4K because it is the most crisp and it does look the best. So once you choose which one you want, you'll click on that. You'll click on it and then you'll come down here to render. Once you click on render, you'll come to gallery in the lower left hand corner and it will load for you. These are the three renderings that I have taken with this space. And you're just going to click on it so you can download it directly to your computer. You can share a link of it. You can email it. You can Facebook and you can Twitter it. And then you can also delete it out if you no longer need it. I hope this has helped. Happy designing.